So in this figure, we need to find the equivalent capacitance of the combination. We know C1 is 10 microfarads, C2 is 5 microfarads, and C3 is 4 microfarads. So the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves which capacitors can be combined. And perhaps you would notice that these two capacitors are directly in series with one another. So it would be easiest to combine those two capacitors first. When you combine capacitors that are in series, you must obey the following relationship. And what we'll do is just simply plug in the given values of C1 and C2, which were stated earlier. We've omitted the units for the sake of clarity, and when you add the fractions on the right-hand side, perhaps you can use a calculator, you're going to get 0.3. And now to solve for the equivalent capacitance, you could perform the following little trick. We could put the 0.3 over 1, and then what you'll do is you will reciprocate the left and right-hand sides of the equations. So you're basically flipping them upside down. When you do that on the left side, you'll get CEQ over 1, which is just CEQ the equivalent capacitance, and then 1 divided by 0.3 is going to give you 3.3 repeating. And then the unit here of capacitance is still in microfarads. So that would be the equivalent capacitance of the series arrangement of C1 and C2. Once you combine mathematically the two capacitors, you'd probably want to redraw the circuit. So we're going to take C1 and C2 and we're going to combine them into an equivalent capacitance that we will call C12. So let's go ahead and do that. So there we have it, and now we have just two capacitors in this circuit, and we can see that these two capacitors are in parallel with one another, and to find the equivalent capacitance of parallel capacitors is even easier, because all you need to do is sum the individual capacitance values. So in other words, the equivalent capacitance of a parallel arrangement in this case would just be C12 plus C3. And we can go ahead and plug in the known values. We calculated C12 a moment ago, and C3 was given. And when you add these together, you will get an overall equivalent capacitance of 7.3 microfarads. So that is the correct answer to the question. You now would have a circuit with just a single mathematically equivalent capacitor whose capacitance, again, is 7.3 microfarads with a external potential difference applied here.